Well, I'm finally going to do it. Took my engine apart over the winter because I was having some issues with it. Didn't blow it up, thank goodness, but uh, I was having some issues, took it apart, and I was going to do a refresh, and I finally decided that I'm going to try doing a DIY closed deck with DevCon. If you don't know what the, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just look up DevCon Epoxy Honda Block. It's really big with the Honda guys, um, and they've had pretty good success with it. Um, from a lot of digging around, I haven't found many Subaru guys that have done this. I think I found two, and I don't th- the the guy that did it with a with a STI w- or WRX block, the semi closed deck block. The guy who did it with that one, I don't think he ever ran the engine. He actually filled it in, but then he never ran it. And there's another guy that used an open deck block, and I think he ran the motor, but I never saw any results of it, if it was able to hold more power or not. So anyway, if you don't quite know what I'm talking about, uh, instead of being a sane human uh, and using your brain and actually buying an IAG or out front closed deck motor, <laughs> what I'm going to do is use this aluminum epoxy and fill in these gaps Obviously, you drill holes for the cool or for the uh, for coolant passages and for the case bolts. Um, you are gonna fill it up to about about that. I'll probably go a little lower than that, make it a little thicker than what the stock uh, supports are. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I'm basically just gonna send this motor until it blows up. So <laughs> uh, we're just gonna see what the hell happens. I have no idea if this is gonna strengthen strengthen anything at all. I just want to try it. I just want to see what happens. I want to see if we can get this thing making 700 horsepower somewhat reliably and not blowing up. I mean, and uh, the internals that are going in it is uh, their CP pistons that were in this motor uh, originally, and then uh, mainly I beam rods, uh, all with upgraded hardware. The piston, the pistons have upgraded wrist pins. I think that's about it. We're doing new bearings, obviously. So it's gonna have the recipe to make the power, or to hold the power, I should say, if this was a closed deck block. So we're going to do this DIY method and see what the hell happens, see if we can make this thing hold some serious power. So kind of first things first, uh, what I did was I roughed up the inner part of the coolant jacket here. Uh, I just did that with sandpaper and a pair of scissors, actually. So I wrapped the sandpaper around these scissors and actually kind of was able to get in all the various crevices that I can't get to with my fingers, so that's how I did that. And then I'm gonna clean this out really good. I'm not quite at that point yet. Um, as far as decking this surface, um, what I have done in the past and what I have done here, I'm not quite done with it yet, but as you can see, it looks fairly clean. I use a Dora block and I use sandpaper. Um, that's what I use <laughs> and it works, it works great. You just gotta be careful with it and you gotta keep checking uh, the flatness uh, throughout the procedure. So if you don't have the tools and you don't know how to ch- properly check the flatness of the deck, then just take it to a machine shop. So also to keep this DIY friendly, uh, I am not going to be using 13 millimeter or four, or I'm sorry, half inch or 14 millimeter head studs in this block. I'm going to be using ARP 625 head studs in this because those are head studs that you can just drop right in without any machining. Uh, I had debated doing the half inch, but like I said, I want to want to try and keep this whole project super DIY friendly, and also I don't want to I don't want to invest a ton of money in this block because uh, there's a very good possibility that this is all going to go kablamo <laughs> when I crank up the boost. I guess that's it. Just kind of wanted to start off this uh, video series with just explaining what I'm going to be doing, and uh, if you want to see the whole thing unfold and see what happens, see if this is a, a viable solution is somewhere in between the semi-closed and an actual closed deck, then subscribe and, you know, see the whole thing unfold. And one last thing, guys, before I cut off the video, before you blast the hate comments, uh, just keep in mind that I, this is an experiment. This is not something that I think is going to be as strong as an IAG block or an out front block. Um, I'm just doing this as an experiment and to see what happens. Uh, so I know the Subaru community can be a bit harsh at times. I've been in it for quite a while. Just keep keep in mind that this is for informational purposes only. I'm not trying to uh, not trying to ruffle any feathers here. I just want to do an experiment and document it because I think it's interesting. So uh, so just keep that in mind, guys, and uh, I'll catch you in the next video.